okay, Hades Mega here, and uh, it's another uh, vlog on the Black Widow Galant VR4. So today I will be changing the uh, this side, the uh, front right uh, or the front passenger side axle. Uh, so if you remember from a previous video, uh, we uh, I was working on the suspension and I noticed, oh, there's grease all over the place. And that's what happens when these uh, CV boots tear. They, they uh, start spewing grease all over the place. So before it gets worse, I'm going to go replace it. Now, I had done some research online. And it said that uh, I had done some research. I watched Eric the Car Guy. <laughs> so if, uh, he has some pretty interesting videos. Eric the Car Guy, check him out. But... Uh, but uh, he said that if you have like a, you know, a torn CV boot or something, or clicking CV boots, um, you uh, don't have to replace it right away. Um, and he said not to, uh, I mean, what uh, one alternative I could do is just change the boots. So yeah, if you change the boot, um, uh, if, if the axle hasn't been like, uh, you know, the CV... CV joints and stuff haven't been exposed to too much dirt. You can just, uh, you know, clean it up, clean up all the old grease, put the new grease in, and, uh, and just uh, you know, change the boot. Um, I could totally do that, but uh, the, here's Eric the car guy is saying, yeah, you know, if if you have like an axle that has like a bad boot or something, just change the whole axle. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's it's I me. Mean, it's a they're so cheap and they're. Um, you know, there's there. It's easier to just replace it, you know, than to just like disassemble it and do it. So, uh, but it's it should be pretty easy to do it on this car because it's it's just the axle. It's pretty easy to get the the front um, passenger side axle. The driver side or the left side uh, is another story. It has like a little bearing that you have to like replace on it. But the, luckily, there's nothing bad with that side yet. So. Um, so yeah, so let's get to it. So I'm kind of uh, burning daylight here, so I'm gonna have to uh, get this show on the road. So here we go. I got my Duralast axle here, Ooh, part number seven nine three four November. Um, it has a little happy face on it. Somebody drew, but uh, this is the CV. Uh, it's a Duralast CV axle assembly, gold. Duralast gold. So we'll go ahead and install this in the car, and then it'll be all good. We don't have to worry about it. And then we'll have another axle left over that we can repair if we want to. Um, yeah, so. But this is the Duralast Gold. I think it I think it cost me around 60 bucks, if I remember correctly. Um, let's see, let's okay, around. there's the axle. Um, it's in a plastic bag. Let me get out of the plastic okay, bag. Okay, there it is definitely well packaged it comes with the axle nut I believe this is one of those ones that you can't reuse I'm thinking hmm, I don't know we'll find out there's a there's a, there better be a circle up on that okay, there's a circle yeah so it's ready to it's ready to just put right on um, looks like a pretty quality unit boots are nice and thick good stuff all right brand spanking new just for you just for you, Black Widow Gallant. All right, so let me go get my suit on and let's get the show on. Okay, so I'm first order of business is uh, we're going to go get the car in the air. So we got to go jack it up. And that's what I got, Mr. Jack. And Jack stands for there. Okay, well there it is, up in the air. Next, we're gonna go uh, take the wheels off. Or the wheel off. I got it on some. Uh, I jacked it up as high as I could. And I put some uh, some jack stands underneath, so um, yeah, we're gonna have to get to the tranny and drain the fluid. That's that's gonna be the shitty part. Okay, so since we're gonna need it, uh, I busted out the earthquake right here. Um, yeah, we're gonna need it to bust the axle loose. So I'm gonna use to take the wheels off.
Okay, so I'm not too sure on uh, how. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, so this is going to be. An, it's it's it should be pretty much the same as a front-wheel drive car because it's on the front, you know, and it's the easy part. Um, so I'm thinking uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, let's take that axle nut out. That big old nut in the center. Alright, let's so take the car pin out. I got my good old buddy, uh, Eagle Mills pliers. Okay, I got the cutter pin out. What a pain in the ass it was to take out. Okay, so I got the uh, I got the axle nut uh, socket. It's a 32 millimeter. I found out. There it is. Uh, let's see if the earthquake can take it out. Those things are on there really tight. Coming out. Maybe I gotta do some PV blaster, or I need to get the other compressor out. Uh, this one. Okay, so I sprayed some PV blaster on it. Uh, I got one. I got the other compressor going right now, but uh, we'll see if uh, see if the smaller one can do it. Also, I'm on yeah, number six. The new axle has one of those ones that you gotta pinch the end on, so I don't know if uh, we can use that on this, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll see when we get. Okay, so the next thing we gotta take out is the steering uh, steering knuckle right there, um, or the steering the, the steering rod, pie rod. Um, that would require me to take the uh, cotter pin out again. Counter pin out. I gotta take out this nut right here. Smaller that pin out. Should be able to get it out. Okay, no problem. Um, okay, we're gonna have to get something to push that out too. Um, okay, so now uh, let's uh, before we get too far with disassembling the suspension, let's uh, let's drain the tranny fluid because I know. I know very well that when you pull that uh, freaking uh, when you pull that axle out, all the transmission fluid is going to come out. So, and rather than having to buy uh, some brand new transmission fluid, I'm just gonna I'm gonna reuse the stuff that's in there right now. All right. Okay. So to do that, I got a uh, a little a nice clean uh, drain pan right here, and um, this uh, windshield washer fluid bottle that's empty. Uh, to put to put the, the oil in uh, if I don't finish today, um, or I'll just put the oil in. Yeah, because I need to. I don't know. We can just probably just put a cover on top of it so dirt doesn't get on it. Okay, so getting under here. It looks like our drain plug is this flat guy right here. That looks like it's very easy to strip. Dag it. Um, and then this looks like the fill hole right here. Uh, I will go crack the fill hole open so we can get it out. Get out the tranny fluid and then uh yeah look at that it is rubbing something i can do about that man i think it's plastic it's gonna be a hole in there soon <sighs> so 
so annoying. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go take the uh, the fill plug out, or I'm just gonna loosen the fill plug so it comes out a little easier. It's not that size. It's 17. Okay. Tough to get out. I have to use the hammer, but I do have a breaker bar. So I'm gonna use the breaker bar. Yeah, there's a plug deep in here. I don't think it should be that tight. Oh my god! I'm using the breaker bar already and it's not coming off. Oh! Dude! What the fuck? Why is it so tight? That's a big breaker bar. Ah, there we go. Okay. That is in there way too tight now. Okay. So I wet the oil pan down a little bit. So it will be clean. think anything will come out. I hope not. There shouldn't be anything coming out because we're at a we're on an incline, so there is and there's too much oil in it. Okay, there's nothing. So I'm just gonna put that in hand tight. We're halfway. Nothing's coming out of it anyway. And then we're going to go take care of this guy next. Okay, so I've opted to use the uh, impact gun to avoid stripping it. Oh, oh there it goes. Boy, did that come out really quick. It came out a lot quicker than I thought. And like you can see, that stuff is like brand new, dude. So I don't want to waste it. It is. You can't, you can't really see the drain pan earlier, but there it is. So we'll just, uh, I'll just let that finish dripping. I'll, I'll wait till it's like drippity drop, and then, and then we'll go put it in the little bucket. Okay, he's back up. Okay. So the guy that previously owned this car put the stock Mitsubishi, like the Mitsubishi Diaqueen in it. And uh, that's, uh, um, if I need to top it off, I'm going to use BG Synchro Shift is what I'm going to use. Um, yeah. We should definitely get more fluid in there than, than there normally should be because we're on an incline. No, actually we'll have, we'll have a lot of extra fluid if we put it in like that. So anyway, um, yeah, let's just make sure. It's fairly low before we take the axle out. All right. So another reason I kind of want to practice like reusing the fluid is because I've got I've got to replace the axles on my Eclipse. Um, I I think I bought a set I, I bought a pair of axles just in case my my Eclipse has this this vibration problem. So so. Uh, I decided to change the axles to try to get rid of that problem. I don't think it's the axles though, but but I might as well change them anyways. The bottom. So all right. So, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that bad boy up. Looks like it's drained a significant amount. And that thing came out really easily after a couple bouts with the gun. Lightly gun it in. Just get a half inch 
the socket, you know. Okay. Good. It doesn't have a whole lot of power. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go dump this into that bucket I was talking about. Okay, about. so let's go ahead and dump this oil into this windshield washer bottle. I made sure that this was totally dry before, uh, before, I, uh, before I put the stuff in here. Um, I let it dry over like several days. Quakey so okay. It's not going to stay in there very long. Or it's going to fall. Let me get a smaller funnel. <laughs> okay, yeah, a smaller funnel. Fall over. This looks like you just want to fall over. This work area is getting already dirty or disorganized already, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in there. do that so I wouldn't have like a, a, a basket of oil just sitting around for dust and stuff to collect in. Um, but I will, yeah, so there it is. Okay, so far so good. So now we got to go take that uh, tie rod out. Um, to do that, I got this guy. Maybe this might work. No, I don't think it'll work. It's too small. No, no, no. Right, now I'm positive I have a tool for this because when I uh, when I, uh, I I did this on the other side of the because um, I had to change the boot. And I'm gonna break this tool. Oh shit! Boy, did that just explode, man. That's why I said get your safety glasses ready, man. Alright, so we should be able to maneuver this any way we want. Okay, I think, and I think the next thing we gotta do is we gotta unbolt the, the shock. Um, yeah, it's not gonna come out unless we take the shock out. Should have taken the brakes out too. All right, so I got the axle out. Now we just need to we need to pop it out from the other end. There's the axle. Popped it out of there. No problem. It wasn't stuck or anything. It's good. It looks still looks good on this side. There's no grease coming out at all. So here's what's gonna happen. Still leaking a little bit. 
I got to get some of that dribble out of there. But anyway, um, here's the axle. And, um, yeah, there's the axle. And then, so we just need to pop that out. Um, and to pop that out, we're going to use a pry bar. But I can't really get it on video, so. Okay, so I'm just going to remove it now. Actually, what I should have done is I should have taken that plastic cover off. I totally forgot. But hey, I got it off without it, so it's all good. There it is. Alright, let's put the new one on. So as you can see, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's grease coming out of it. Like, there's grease all over my hand right now. Not too bad, but... Okay, if you're just wondering what the hole looks like... That's what it looks like right there. There's like a little seal there. And yeah, so I hope I got the right axles. This isn't some weird transmission. Um, I think this is a Golant Vera 4 transmission. I'm not sure, dude. I don't know what people have been doing to this car.